Hey you guys, Diane Parham, 21 Day Fix coach and graduate of round one, currently in round two of the 21 Day Fix and co-owner of ParhamFitness.com. So today I want to tell you about my day yesterday. I had mentioned that we had a family party and that yesterday I was just feeling off because I had some pie. I had a little taste of, you know, some little bites off my daughter's plate of some cherry pie and some apple pie. And because my body has been so clean and my system has been so clean, it really did adversely affect me yesterday and I was off all day. I did drink two Shakeologies yesterday to kind of, you know, get my system back on track and I stuck to my food plan yesterday. I almost cheated. I was seriously jonesing for a chewy chocolate chip cookie or something last night. Um, and I think it was just that addiction to food and my, my body had a taste of some sugar and some carbs that were not so great and some gluten and it wanted more. And I could have very easily given into that. Um, seriously, my husband and my kids were laughing at me. I was just, I just wanted something. Fortunately, I don't keep those things in my house for that exact reason. Um, because I would have had to actually put some effort into going out to get something and I just didn't want to do that. So I, instead I sat with my kids and we did homework and I got them ready for bed and took a shower and went to bed myself. I had a huge glass of water before I went to bed and this morning I feel amazing. Let me tell you how I would feel today if I would have not been so strong last night. And let me trust you, the strong didn't come easy. I, I had to force myself and consistently stay conscious in that decision to stay strong. If I would have not, today would have been a repeat of yesterday. I would be feeling horrible today. I would probably feel like a failure in, in my 21 day fix journey. I would feel um, sad that I didn't stick to it. My body would feel not well today because I would have had a second day of those things that my body just isn't tolerant to processing anymore. And then I probably wouldn't have had a great workout and I probably would have been a little depressed probably today because I wasn't didn't stick to my plan. All of that is not worth what I wanted to have last night, trust me. So today I am an empowered person, I'm a strong person, I don't feel guilty and I'm ready to knock it out of the park today. Because I proved to myself yesterday that I'm better than whatever whatever food that I was craving. That I'm stronger than whatever was going on with me yesterday. That I can do this. I proved to myself that I'm worth it and I can do this. Let me tell you from experience, those feelings are amazing. If you're struggling with the 21 day fix and you're giving in to those little cheats and the very next day you wake up and you feel remorseful about it, Stop. Just stop. It is so not worth it. This is so much easier. And trust me, I'm not perfect and it's not always easy for me, but what I have learned over time that it is so worth it. There are going to be plenty of times in life that you can get those cheats or you can get those treats. You don't have to do it every single day. Plan them into your life. Have a birthday party and have a piece of cake. Don't give into it just because your body is screaming and yelling at you. It doesn't know any better. You have to break that cycle, get through it, and know that what you want in the long term is so much better than the little desire or yearning you have in the short term. Now, if you're in the 21 day fix and you're struggling and you're having more of those little give-ins than you want to have, call me, message me, text me. Um, I can talk you through it. I can explain to you some things that you can do for yourself that will help you get through it. Um, you know, and sometimes it's simple. It's just as simple as changing your course of the day. Go to bed, you know, get out of the house, go brush your teeth, have a glass of water. Whatever you got to do, just don't give in. I'm telling you, you're worth it. Um, and I'm telling you and admitting to you that I'm not perfect. So I'm not telling, I'm not on a soapbox telling you that I, I can do it easier than you can or that I've mastered it. I haven't. I just know the tricks to get through it. So trust me, you can learn those tricks too. Um, I hope you're doing well. I hope that you're feeling great. I hope you're feeling stronger. I hope you're feeling empowered. And I hope most of all that you're getting closer and closer to your goals. Um, definitely message me if you need anything and, and just know that I'm here for you. Uh, we'll talk soon.